they are completely different. Now with the liver springers up here in the Bermuda Triangle, the Bermuda Triangle, that would be done with backcombing. After I got all of this crappy undercoat out, then I would layer that in depending on the dog, the length of neck that it has, the kind of shoulders that it has, because once again, you give me enough hair and I can carve out an average or bad shoulder to something very nice and the judge would not have any idea that it's all sculptured in by hair. As I said before, the only, only judge I ever saw in my life who knew what quote unquote we were doing the show that you know the handlers were doing was Ann Rogers Clark because she was a poodle handler. If anybody can groom a dog to hide everything and it's it's her. So there you can see in this light the difference. And I'm gonna stop here because this is all that Kira can take for the day. I don't want her up here like forever and ever. I did not do this section at all and look at the difference from this that I did it's laying flat. It's shiny. Look at the picture. If you guys can ever find the picture of, uh, of me, my best of breed picture with King of the Road, I think 1984 when I was best of breed at Westminster Kennel Club. And you look at that dog in that picture, and these were the days when you couldn't Photoshop, you couldn't do anything. You were, you know, it was just John Ashby, Ashby with his camera, and he, he sent it to you in the mail. That dog's coat is so shiny. And I never dyed that dog a day in his life. I didn't have to, because he was maintained. But his coat in that picture is so shiny. And it's because I kept him constantly for the three years that I specialed him in with a pumice stone. And that's where you're gonna get this shine. Now let's see if I can turn her around and show you the side that we have not worked on. Okay. So look at the difference. So this is the side I have not worked on. Do you know how many show dogs I see in the ring that look like that? That is your normal average, even handlers when they just have class dogs and they don't want to go through what I was showing you on the other side. Your specials dogs for sure are getting pumice stone work. But look at that, look at the color. Look how fuzzy. Now let's swing her back around. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, look at that. What a huge difference. Huge difference. So, that is going to be our pumice stone lesson for today the first one of many and it is also going to be a series of growing her back out let's see how long it takes before she can be like really top-notch show ring ready not just kind of scott cape glued together put a towel on her and do the best we can no 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 let's have her look spectacular in the show ring and we will see together exactly how many weeks it does take for me to grow her back out but look how pretty 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 so that is the magical pumice stone folks and i think that will be good enough for today because she's had it i trimmed her earlier she's headed for the bathtub now so thank you so much for joining me for another section of deb's tricks of the trade and kira and i are both going to say bye-bye bye-bye <laughs>